One of the chief complaints about Linux, at least if you listen to the people who are vehemently against using Linux, is usually that in order to use Linux, you have to spend all of your day in the command line. Now, as a certified nerd, I have no problem with spending all day in the command line. In fact, I prefer to do everything I possibly can in the command line. But I'm self-aware enough to know that I'm not like everybody else. I know for a fact that not everybody likes to use the command line. In fact, I would say most people don't want to use it at all, or at least as little as possible. Specifically, people who are on Windows, or at least have come from Windows, usually those fine folk have no interest whatsoever in using the terminal to do things like install drivers, install their programs, whatever the case may be, right? They don't want to have to pop open console or GNOME terminal or whatever to do anything. They'd prefer to do everything in the GUI, but there's this stereotype about Linux and we'll, we're going to discuss the truth of it today that basically states in order to use Linux, you have to be at least somewhat familiar with the command line. Now, I have made that exact argument in the past that you probably should know some things about the command line if you're going to use Linux because there are some things that are just easier to do in the command line. And I do still believe that if you know a little bit about the command line, you're going to be happier than if you don't. But... If we're going to ask the question, can you use Linux without using the terminal? Well, then I think we have to be a little bit more honest about it. So that's what we're going to talk about today. If you'd be so kind as to leave a thumbs up on this video, I'd really appreciate it. It'd really help the channel. So can you use Linux without knowing the command line or even using the command line? The answer to that question is yes kind of. There's a big giant star next to that statement, or asterisk, I guess that's what it's called, star, <laughs> whatever. But, you know, it's, you can use Linux without using the command line. You can, in fact, do everything you want to do using the GUI. But, and this is a big one, there are layers to how you use Linux. If you are going to be just a normal, everyday computer user, and the primary place where you do vast majority of your work is in the browser, there's a very good chance you're never going to have to ever open the command line. Even during the process of installing Linux and getting everything set up, you can do all that stuff in a GUI. You can install all of your programs from a software store of some kind, whether you're using GNOME or KDE or whatever. You can just pop into a browser and do all of your stuff. Chances are you're never going to have to worry about doing a command line thing. Even if you need to install third-party drivers, in a lot of cases, you can do all that stuff in some form of GUI. It really does depend on what distro you're using. But if you're using, say, a new to Linux user type distro like Linux Mint or Zorin or something like that, chances are all the stuff you would need to be able to install is able to be done right from a GUI. So you won't ever have to use a terminal. But the reason why there's a qualification on the statement of yes to this question is because there are layers of using this type of software. It depends on what you have to do. And it's exactly the same as on Windows. If you are a super nerd and there are certain things that you want to do and you're a Windows user, chances are you're going to end up having to mess around with the command line every once in a while on Windows or PowerShell or whatever they call it, right? That happens on Windows. This is not a Linux exclusive problem or a Linux exclusive thing. I should say not a problem, but a thing. So if you're going to use things like Docker or things like that, you're going to get very into the weeds of using this type of software. Chances are you're going to be exposed to the terminal more often than you would if you were just someone who used basic software like the browser or Audacity or OBS or Kden Live or Spotify or Discord or whatever, right? If you're just that type of user, you're going to see the terminal a lot less or not at all than if you were to get into the more, I would say, nerdy, professional type stuff, right? So to answer the question again, can you use Linux without the terminal, the answer is, of course, absolutely yes. Was this always the case? No. I would say 
over the course of the last 10 years or so, the terminal has become less and less mandatory than it was in the previous 10 years or the previous 20 years. Because things like installing your graphics drivers and stuff like that has become much more possible from a GUI than it was before. Things like solving audio problems or connecting your Bluetooth, all that stuff has become much easier in a GUI now than it was previously, where a lot of times then you'd have to solve it in a terminal configuration. So this stereotype that you have to use the terminal to actually use Linux, I think is mostly false for most people, but it's not false for everyone. And that's why the stereotype continues to exist. And there's a big problem with everything that I'm saying, because when people encounter air issues with their first Linux install, and that's the vast majority of us, when we first install Linux, yes, we're going to find some problems that we encounter along the way, whether that's you know, audio not working or the networking not working, something along the way probably is not going to work somewhere along the line. It just happens, right? It, the exact same thing would happen if we were brand new to Windows and we're trying to get it to work on something. Chances are we'd have to learn something in order to actually, you know, get it up and running. Or we'd, we'd encounter a problem or something. We'd have to go Googling to try to fix that problem. The problem for my argument of no terminal use comes from the fact that if you Google problems, chances are a lot of the solutions you're going to face are given in the form of a command in the command line. And the reason why that's true is because very often the command is distro agnostic. So you can cover a lot of people who use multiple different distros doing it one way compared to someone who maybe writes an article for someone who uses KDE versus GNOME, because both of those processes are going to be different. And then it's going to be depending on what distro you're on. Sometimes the programs aren't all going to be the same between distros. You get the idea because there are so many distros and all of them are going to do something a little bit differently, even if they use the same desktop environment, having a tutorial that shows you how to do something in a certain way with a GUI is a lot harder than telling someone how to do something in the terminal where there's usually just one way. Now, it's not always that case because when it comes to package managers, those things are different between different distributions. But say you're trying to solve a system D problem or something like that, then you're almost certainly going to have a tutorial on how to do it, but it's going to involve a lot of command line work. Now, I would argue that people who encounter things like systemd problems are going to be fairly rare, right? At least for new users. Once you get into the weeds a little bit, yes, you'll probably get into more of those technical type problems if you're tinkering more and more and you're getting into more of the nerdy stuff. But just regular everyday users aren't going to encounter those types of problems. And the types of problems that most new users are going to face will have solutions in, in the GUI. It's just going to be a matter of finding the solutions in the GUI because those tutorials aren't as plentiful as the ones that tell you how to fix things in the terminal. So going back to the stereotype of the whole command line thing, it's not helped by the fact that the vast majority of tutorials out there are focused on telling people how to do things inside of the command line, even though there are legitimate ways of doing those things in the terminal. But as I explained, it's harder to write a tutorial that covers the 90 different ways of doing something via a GUI than it is to write the one way or the, the main way of doing it in a command line. So I think that all of this boils down to how you use Linux and what problems you face along the way. Because if you are lucky enough to just hop into Linux and it just works, you're never going to have the problem of, of going into the command line to fix something. Chances are. If you do encounter problems, then you're going to have to become a little bit more creative in your Googling to find the solutions you need to stay in the, the GUI environment that you want to stay in. And really what all this means is that it does require some effort if you want to stay GUI only. If you want to be someone who just uses the GUI, you're going to it's going to require some effort along the way to do that because the terminal and the command line things on the internet are going to be thrown at you constantly as you do your Googling to solve your problems because that's the stuff that's on there. And the more that stuff is kind of thrown at you and confuses you, the less likely you are 
to feel comfortable because you are you prefer the GUI. And that's where our problem on Linux lies is that while you can do everything you want from the GUI, chances are, especially the vast majority of new users, we still as a community tend to f focus and kind of force people to use the command line because we're so used to it. Because as Linux has evolved, the command line has been the consistent thing. It's kind of stayed the same and that means there's a ton of tutorials there's a lot of work out there that has been done to show people how to do things all on the command line whereas the GUI stuff that transforms every five or ten five or six years and it changes a little bit you know, every release of GNOME is a little bit different than the last every, every KD Plasma is a little bit different than the last and that means that stuff changes over time that means a lot of that tutorial stuff that if it is for a GUI, you know, just it's old and not applicable anymore. So we do have that problem and that doesn't help the view on Linux from people who are outside of the Linux community who think that Linux is just nerds hacking away in front of a console all the time. There's not much we can do about it because it is our history, unfortunately. But I think that if you are someone who is interested in Linux and you don't have a preconceived notion about it. You've heard people talk about how bad the command line is, but you're interested in giving it a shot. Don't be scared off by the stereotype of Linux because it's mostly not true. It does require effort to use just the GUI, but it's also mostly fairly easy for the big stuff, right? The smaller stuff you probably have to put some effort into, but the big stuff should be fairly easy to get along and just do it right inside of the GUI and you'll be happy. So that's it for this video. I would still argue as a nerd that knowing some things about the command line is better than not. As I said at the beginning, I think that if you have just a little bit of knowledge about how to do some things in the terminal, you're going to be happier and better off. And the reason why I think that is because when you do Google something that says, hey, this is how you do it in the command line and it's easier to do it this way, you can at least be comfortable in doing that and kind of knowing what you're doing a little bit. But I'm aware and I understand that not everybody wants to ever do that. The vast majority of people never, like my mom, not on Linux, but if she were on Linux and she saw someone trying to teach her how to use the command line, she'd be scurrying right back to Windows as fast as she could she could go. So, and the vast majority of people are like my mom and not like me. So, anyways, that's it for this one. If you have thoughts on this whole thing, you can leave those in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. You can follow me on Mastodon or Odyssey. Those links will be in the video description. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash linuxcast. I'm also on Ko-fi and on YouTube if you want to support me monetarily in those places as well. Links for those will be down below as well. You can also head on over to the store, which is available at shop.thelinuxcast.org. There you'll find all sorts of awesome merch, including desk mats and hats and hoodies and t-shirts and all sorts of stuff. All the proceeds for that go directly towards helping me make more Linux content for you guys. Thanks to everybody who does or has gone and bought stuff from there. It's highly appreciated. Thanks to everybody who does support me on Patreon and YouTube because they're all absolutely amazing. Without you, the channel just wouldn't have anywhere near where it is right now. So thank you so very, 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 very much for your support. Again, I truly do appreciate it. You guys rock. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you have a wonderful week and all that stuff. And I'll see you next time.